Today we're going to try out a home brew, an Imperial Stout from Lizard Brewery. This is a 9% Imperial Stout and it has quite an interesting recipe with a high amount of uh, special ingredients. So we're also going to run through that and how that impacts the beer. But first, let's get this one into a glass. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So if you want to learn with me how to become better at beer and brewing, consider becoming a subscriber. Here on my channel you will find gear reviews, brewing videos, experimental brewing and just weird shit about home brewing. Nice. Label out. Ooh, it pours like black gold. It's an oily looking stout. Not oily in that mean, but yeah, you know what I mean. It's a 9% beer with a two finger head. It looks amazing. You can smell it from here. Chocolate, even 9.2% holds that head like a boss. I can't pick up any alcohol. It's like the dark chocolate. Okay, can't wait. Cheers and thanks Patrick from Lisa Brewer for sending me the beer tryout here on the channel. I do get the alcohol now. Uh, it is on the sweet side, of course, but that's to style. Great mouthfeel, coffee. Chocolate, sweetness, mild rosiness, but what's really screaming is the Karamunich. Karamunich is a really potent German caramel malt, not to be uh, just changed out uh, with crystal malt. Maybe you should have taken the Karamunich amount down a bit. Let's sh sh see how it is, but it's really, it's one of the, the, the best home brewed stouts I've ever tried. So let's dive into the recipe now. And the recipe is of course already up on my Patreon site. For my patrons to dig into. I have the recipe here in kilo, but also in percentage. Percentage is always the, uh, the best way to uh, share recipes then you could just type in your brew house efficiency. This was a 13 liter batch. He used 4 kilos of pale ale malt, that's 74.4%, 450 grams of flaked oats, that's 8%, 400 grams of carafa 2, that's 7.11%, 250 grams of Karamunich type 2, and 250 grams of Karamunich type 3, that's 4.5% each. So it's a 9% total of the Karamunich malts split up into two. Uh, we have Karamunich 1, 2, 3. Uh, they are more roasted as they increase in number. And he used 250 grams of chocolate malt. That's 4.5%. The chocolate malt and the uh, Carafa 2 were cold brewed or cold mashed, cold what you want. What you basically do is that you, the day before, grind up your grain and, uh, sorry, I was thinking of coffee. You crush your grains, put them in a jar with water and put that into the fridge, let it cold steep overnight. And then you pour, pour that through uh, like a sieve and uh, yeah, you just pour the liquid into the boiling wort when it's time to boil the wort. And what that does is that it gives you a smooth beer without no like astringency at all, which you could get from uh, a high amount of uh, roasted grains. The trick I do is something called top mashing instead. I just wait with the roasted grains until mash out and add them there. And if it's for like a stout, I usually do like 20 minutes rest there and if it were for like just for color like in a Schweiz spear something like that I would add it just before spotching. But both methods works 
So try it out which method you like it will really improve your dark beers. Great for all beers containing roasted malts. This was mashed at 68C for 75 minutes. For hops he used at 60 minutes 15 grams of Columbus. That's 33 IBUs from those. 20 minutes 15 grams of Columbus. That's 20 IBUs from those. And at 10 minutes 15 grams more of Columbus and that's 12 IBUs. The alpha acid on his Columbus were 14%. This was fermented with the two packages of Fermentis Ceph L American US05 and this were fermented at 19 degrees Celsius and the, the good doctor will put up the uh, Fahrenheit value as well. I don't know if Lister Brewery has a YouTube channel or something. If he does, I will link to it. Speaking of links, today's sponsor Brewgoat. First link in the description leads to the website brewgoat.se. Brewgoat is a Swedish homebrew supplier. They have a physical store here in Sweden and their thing is that they are really dedicated to giving their customers their best service. Yeah, sounds nice. Kara Munich 1, 2, 3 is a German crystal malt but it has a special flavor that really shines through in the beer. It's not so much like caramel that you find on a crystal malt. This is more like biscuity, malty. I even think of raspberries and um, not like the raspberry taste but something in it. It's, it's, this is a very potent malt. You should try it. Try it like this was almost like 9% but you could try it maybe like 5% in a beer. You shouldn't really replace it for your crystal malt but do it once to try out. You could go somewhere in the middle there maybe Cara Munich type 2 and because it gives a really special flavor and when you're starting to know that flavor you can even balance that out with doing some ordinary crystal malt and some Caramunic type 2. When I first brewed with this malt I bought it instead of a Crystal 60 and this gave the beer an entire different flavor. So do try it out in the higher amount. As I said you don't have to go like 9% but you could do like 500 grams in a 5 gallon 23 liter batch and that would be high I think and you would get a lot of understanding how this malt actually tastes and yeah you have another tool in your belt to brew some beers. You will find this kind of malts often I think in a, like an Oktoberfest so because it's a, it's a German crystal malt. Really interesting beer from Lisa Brewery if anyone else wants to send me a beer mail you'll find my contact information down below. If you want more content and dig into the big Dr. Hans recipe book and all my beer mail recipes you will find it on my Patreon where I try to do some more vlogging updates. Cheers and thanks for watching Dr. Hans out. Now go and watch that video.